Hello, welcome to Thoughts of Treasure Daily Devotional written by Sabrina Aguchapo. Our topic today is Fully Furnished and Equipped for Every Good Work. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5.20 that, Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, since God is making His appeal through us. We plead on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. Any ambassador of a country, do not struggle to work to get money to pay his bills and take care of himself in another country as an ambassador of his country. His country takes care of his bills and needs while he is in another country as an ambassador of his country. If the ambassador of a county do not move around on his own in another country to look for a house to rent or beg for things from his country in order to sustain himself in another country why should a heavenly ambassador beg for things on earth? An ambassador of a country may not have his own money to live the life of an ambassador in another country but by the reason of his office everything will be made available for him. Hallelujah. Did you get the picture? Jesus said, Though you are in the world, you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Hallelujah. We are ambassadors for Christ. We are representatives of the heavenly kingdom. An ambassador of a country is a legal representative of his country to another country and not a man of his own and does not think or worry on how he is going to get money to feed himself in whatever country he was sent to as an ambassador. The economy of the country where he was sent to does not affect him and whether the country he was sent to as an ambassador was poor or rich that does not affect him. In the same way, the economy and the hardship of this world should not affect us because we are heavenly ambassadors. We are the ambassadors for Christ. Hallelujah. Think as an ambassador for Christ. Think as an ambassador of heaven to the earth. As an ambassador we have been fully equipped and furnished with everything that we require to live as an ambassador of heaven to the earth. Hallelujah. Before an ambassador will be sent to any country, provision will be made for him and everything he would require. A house where he would live would be made available before his departure. The day you were born again, you were separated from the world and your new destiny started in Christ. So don't think like the world. Don't act like them. Romans 12 to says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, and acceptable, and perfect, will of God. Hallelujah. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, and refuse to suffer the same thing that the people of the world suffers because you are not of this world. You are an ambassador of heaven, and God's own property. The Bible says in Ephesians to 10 Amplified Version that, we are God's own handiwork, His workmanship, recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew that we may do those good works which God predestined, planned beforehand, for us, taking paths which He prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them, living the good life which He prearranged and made ready for us to live. Hallelujah! Everything we needed before we came was made available for us. All that is now required is just for us to use our faith to operate our heavenly account. I said all that is required is for us to use our faith to operate our heavenly account. Whatever you want, use your faith to unlock it. If it's healing use your faith to appropriate it. If it's money use your faith. Faith is the currency of our kingdom. With your faith, you can get anything. With your faith you can access anything. The Bible says in Hebrews 11-2 that through faith that the elders obtained a good report and for us. The Bible says in Hebrews 10:38. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Hallelujah. Don't shrink back and don't draw back. Don't borrow the lifestyle of this world, because we are not of this world. We are men and women of faith, and the Bible says in 1 John 5 to for that everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Hallelujah. Your faith is your victory. Your victory here on earth is your faith. Use your faith rightly. If things are not working well for you, it's because you are not using your faith rightly. Faith is the victory that overcomes this world. There's nothing on this earth that faith cannot get and there's no mountain that faith cannot move. Jesus said in Mark 9:23, If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Hallelujah. Anything is possible. If your faith is not alive in God, I invite you today to make Jesus the Lord of your life. To do so please listen to the end of this audio and take the salvation prayer meaning it with your heart. God bless you. 7 Thoughts of Treasure to Ponder on 1. We are ambassadors of Christ and representative of the Kingdom of Heaven. To Corinthians 5.20 Philippians 3.20 2. We are fully furnished 
and equipped with every good thing as ambassadors of heaven to live the good life which God prearranged for us. Ephesians to 10, to Corinthians 5 20. 3. He has chosen us to bear fruit, and to be productive with lasting results. John 15 16, John 17 16. 4. The economy of the country, we are sent to does not affect us because we are ambassadors of another kingdom, and we live by faith. Hebrew 10 38, to Corinthians 5 20. 5. All that is required for us to operate our heavenly account is faith. Our faith is the victory that overcomes the world. 1 John 5-4, Philemon 1-6, 6. There's nothing our faith cannot unlock. With our faith we can get anything and move any mountain. Hebrew 11-2, Mark 9-23, 7. Faith is the currency in our kingdom for any transaction. Everyone that is born of God can operate with this currency. 1 John 5-4, Mark 11 20-23, Matthew 17 27. Affirmation. I choose to be healthy and prosperous because I am a heavenly ambassador to the earth. I am a representative of the kingdom of heaven, and my faith is my currency to get or to purchase anything on this earth. Everything is within my reach because I am alive to God and my faith is active and working. All things are possible with me, and there's nothing that is too big for me here on earth because I am heavenly. Glory to God. Further quotes. Philemon 1-6, it says, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. Prayer of Salvation. We trust you have been blessed by this thoughts. If you have not received salvation, if you have not received Jesus Christ into your life, and if you want to experience this life of God that I'm sharing with you, then I invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. By praying thus, O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, according to Romans chapter 10 to 8. I believe he died for me, and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations, you are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling our prayer line or text SALVATION to 0745067662 and we will call you back and pray with you. You can get a copy of Thoughts of Treasure Digest or other books by Cyprian Ahucha Ogu on Amazon. Search for Thoughts of Treasure or Cyprian Ahu Cha Ogu on Amazon search bar to find the books. Join our online church via Facebook. You can join both the online church live page and the groups. To join the groups, search for Let Church Come to You or online church live to join the groups. Online church live is one word. In a world where there is so much fear and negative information, you need the right mindset and the right material to build your faith I present to you the best mindset and faith builder tool to your success. Thoughts of Treasure is more than a book, it is power in your hands. You will discover in this book the creative power of the human person, the revealed mysteries and secrets of the Bible, and how to win daily and be an absolute success with the principles of the Bible. Get a copy of Thoughts of Treasure Digest from Amazon and other books from the author. God bless you and keep living in the atmosphere of God's Word. I love you all.